jump statement suppose three jump state uh, three jump statements break continue and and return we will cover these topics in this video and it's a pure coding no theory here so let's take a class here break loop so in this program using a break to exit a loop so int we will declare in for loop itself i is equal to 0 then i is less than 100 so i to 100 and then i incrementing here i then if it's a control if 10 then we are using break let's comment it terminate loop if it is if i is 10 terminate loop if i is 10 so it's a let's write in what we have to print here i as usual i loop complete so it will print loop complete so it's showing error After for loop, now everything's right, correct? What is showing? Loop complete. Oh. Uh -huh. Now let's save this program. And run our next program is using break to exit a while so this program is successful let's see the output it's starting from 0 to 9 and then loop complete So before 10, the loop shows here, loop complete. So let's do another program here. So here is package and public class, same, everything is same here. So I type the all, all steps which are same. Now we are using here file. So while i is less than 100 and where is bracket so this is our program so i have to increment here i plus plus or increment all oh, Let's save this program and run.
can see the output so output is here i is equal to 10 and loop complete okay so let's do another program and this program is using break with nested loops how we can use break in nested loop then next question is go to so let's start with this so in this program i already wrote the few steps which are the same so let's start we are using here for loop and i think you already knew about the nested loop and i less than 3 then i am incrementing i here and i am taking one print statement from here oh I So here I will write here pass and then plus I plus then for loop again this is with j equals to 0 then j is less than 100 and incrementing j here incrementing j here so if j is equals to 10 in bracket I am taking in bracket equals to 10 then break so let's write here comment why we are using here break to terminate loop if if j is 10 give some space to this j then system dot out println here we are printing the value of j J plus then system dot print ln it's already here. System dot print ln this will good now I will write here loop complete so what is the error let's see here is four brackets and I have to here then all others are removed now if j is equals to 10 and break it's good 
Why it's showing error here? So let's see. Save and run. Then we will think what's the problem. Oh, it's showing error. I think first we have to check my whole program. Where is the error? First line, this line is correct. This one is also and system dot pass plus I. This one is for let's see for loop for int. Oh, it didn't declare J here. Oh, so this is the problem. So let's save it and run it. So let's run this program. And the output is here. And it's showing pass. Pass 1, pass 2 and and it's the output is correct let's do another program and this program is using a break as civilized form of code two. so let's see the civilized form of code two. so let's start this program and boolean boolean t equal to True. Then first typing error. Then second and then third. So let's your sprint statement before the break loop before the break then if t t true for true break second You can comment it here. Break out of second block. Then this won't be executed. Then this execute and here is this one visible again so I will copy from here because we don't don't want to waste your time and in typing the same thing again this is after a second block now I will print this is after a second block This is after a second block. This is after a second block. Because our whole program is now complete, 
so don't miss all this and let's save this and run this program and see what is the output break dot java so before the break and this is after a second block so it is printing this or this output is correct we are expecting this output and this is correct so let's do one another program so here is public static void these all the are the same statement so we don't need to write again so outer loop outer for int i is equal to 0 i is less than 3 then i increment i then system dot print ln so let's see what we have to write in the print same thing which you return in the next last program plus i plus so this oh Here another loop int j equals to zero then j is less than hundred and increment j and there's the spelling mistake spelling mistake shows the error So now one control statement using here if j is equal to 10 then break out then exit both loop loops okay oh so typing error so here we are using j plus This will not print. It's showing error because we have to write this here before the bracket. Then this will not print. I will right here this will not print and loops complete
complete so let's save this program and run so first write here comment what is the comment for this program this is using this bridge to exit nested loop to exit the nested nested uh, loops so let's save this and run this program and see the output of this program what happened here is it's printing 1 to 9 and loops complete so our program is successful now this program is continue as you can see first point you have to keep in mind that you cannot break to any label which is not defined for enclosing block so now on our next topic is continue so I was telling about the break which four programs we we have four to five programs we have done in break now it's continue so let's start so for loop here is for loop int i is equals to zero then i is less than ten then i is increment plus plus or say increment then use a state print statement in print statement we have right here i plus and for loop after for loop you know you have to open a bracket and then here is a control statement if I modulus 2 here is the modulus operator equal to equal to 0 then continue continue and here no need for semicolon so let's see what is in print statement this is so let's save and run this program system dot out print ln everything is per correct but why is showing error oh we need one more bracket here oh first save my program and then run this So here is the output build success and our program is showing showing 0 to 9 numbers. So they are in continue. Let's see what is the error here. Continue. 0. is correct i plus it's also correct so let's save again this program and see what is the difference in our program after this everything is correct now it's showing in the pair of two because we are right here modulus two continue 
continue and so let's do another program of continue and this program is with the label so let's write here in comment what we do here demonstrate So our next program name is continue label. In this program, here is outer continue label. So let's comment here using continue with label. Then public static void main. This statement takes a lot more time in typing. So outer. for so outer for int j is equals to 0 let's let's take first i and then we'll go to j i is less than 10 then increment i don't need here semicolon now another loop is here is for j int j equals to 0 and j is less than 10 of all is less than 10 and increment j Everything is good still. Now, if G is is greater than I, we are taking greater than I. Then system dot print ln. dot out print ln is blank here and continue out continue out then here system dot out print ln 
this. Plus and then bracket in bracket i into j. Then he has to and system dot out printl. showing error let's see what is the error we are looking at the bracket there is a five bracket so let's remove one still it's showing error in system dot out print ln what is the error here need one more bracket so let's save this program and run this and showing the correct output here is the output starting from 0 then 0 1 then 0 2 4 so it's in correct order so let's do one more program good uses of continue are rare one reason is that java provides a rich set of loop statement which fit most applications however for those circumstances in which early iteration is needed the continue statement provides a structured way to accomplish it so let's do a return it's the last program of control statements let's do one more program of return return and start here in return same his public static void main So boolean t equal to true then system dot out dot print ln before the return. before the return then if t we are using small t here if t return
let's comment this return to call so this is a comment return to call then one more is this print statement and here this won't be executed this won't be execute so let's save this program and run this before the return it's print here before the return So in our next video, we will cover uh, classes and all. Now, in our previous video, what we covered here, control statements, data types, variable, arrays, operators, and all. So our basic is covered, which you all learn in other languages. So this, are, this is the basic in these videos from the next video we will start the classes object so this is in advance so thanks for watching